lot more to the word right than just turning right or being correct. Let's deep dive on the word right and find out all the different ways you can use it in English. Hi, my name's Damien and I'm the sledgehammer that smashes down English language barriers. This series is all about getting smarter with your English vocabulary. Don't learn more words, get to know the most important words in English better. All the words in this series are taken from the essential word list. This list contains the most frequently used words in English. 560 words to be exact. If you want to see the full list, then check out the link in the description. In each episode, we'll look at word family, pronunciation, core meanings, collocation, and a fun fact. Let's hit it. Some common forms of the word include right, rights, rightfully, and righteous. Right breaks into three sounds. R, I, T. Now, you might have some problems pronouncing R. So just remember the difference between L and R is that with R, your tongue doesn't touch the roof of your mouth. Also, if you come from a tonal language like Thai, you might not pronounce those final sounds, but it's important to get that t and make sure there's some breath coming out when you say right. Don't say rai, rai. You want to get right. Okay, and finally, uh, for a spelling pattern tip, you have I-G-H, which often represents the vowel sound I. Here's some examples. Light, might, fight. If you're enjoying this video, then help me out by sledgehammering that like button. It helps me keep making free videos for you. Meaning one, exactly. He kicked the ball right into the back of the net. Meaning two, immediately. I knew right from the start this armed robbery wasn't going to go well. Meaning three, morally correct. Do you think it was right to cheat on the IELTS exam? English power tip. Whenever you find a high frequency word, don't stop at Google Translate. Take it one step further and look up your word in an English to English online dictionary. You'll find lots of different core meanings and example sentences. Collocations are words that go together. Think of collocations as Lego bricks that fit for example, you might say melted ice cream, but you don't say burnt ice cream. Learn collocations and you'll be a lot more fluent in English. It's a lot easier to carry around chunks of words rather than single words. Here are some good right collocations to get you started. Human rights. Equal rights. Animal rights, get something right, and exactly right. To find out more collocations for the word right, then look down in the description for two great tools that help you find collocations. They're called Play Phrase Me and Just the Word. You can be dead and right at the same time. The idiom dead right means completely correct. Radio, we are all done. If you haven't already, subscribe and I would be honored to be your coach on your English language journey. Also, practice, practice, practice. And why not start now? Write a comment 
using the word right with one of the core meanings I've shared with you in the video today. And if you're interested in a full vocabulary system, then why don't you check out my book? It's the right stuff. Start taking your English mask off today. See you later.